What's up everybody welcome back or hello if you are new here my name is Brianna Michaela and this is where I talk about all things nursing so in today's video we're going to talk about what you actually need for nursing school so if you're like me you get excited and you like to spend money you will probably go out and over purchase everything I was really excited I spent a couple grand on nursing school supplies and honestly really didn't need to of course i did get a couple of necessity items but other than that i probably could have done with just like the bare basics and been totally fine i'm actually kind of excited to make this video today because like i mentioned i do like to spend money i like to go shopping and it's nursing school you know you're excited and this is what you've tried so hard for and what you've worked so hard for so when you get into it you just want to go out and buy everything that you possibly can to make it better for you you know you're excited so first we're going to go over just everything that i purchased whether i thought it was necessary or not later i'm going to go over the things that i honestly use the most so i'm just going to cover everything and then highlight a few things that i use regularly and how they help so first i went out and i bought a bookshelf i just got it off of amazon so this is the bookshelf that I bought for nursing school. It is in my closet because my husband, I let him take over the office space to be in the way. So this is the shelf that I bought. I bought it off of Amazon. It's just a simple basic white shelf with a couple, a couple different shelves. I have my textbooks down below. I have some binders, some, some other little things like CMS books and I have a hole puncher there. I have some push pins, flashcards some badge reels, I have some more textbooks, some organizers, I have some stamps, some rings, and some more of my books. I did need that, so that I did need to have so I can put all my books and all my supplies in one central area because if I study out in the living room, I get distracted by the TV, my kids, the dishes, the laundry, whatever the case is. So I needed to have a designated area to study. And then for my bookshelf, for my studying area, I did go out and purchase some of these little plastic organizer containers. This is a smaller one and they have like medium sizes and then I have a couple of bigger ones. I'll show that in a second. I use them for my holding my flashcards and things, but I did like these because I can put my pens in here, I can put my highlighters, I can put other things. I like having my area organized as possible. Again, I have ADHD, so if I'm around a mess, I get overwhelmed very easily and I'll get distracted. I'll start trying to organize things. Apparently I have OCD as well, kind of makes sense. So I wanted something to where I can really keep my space clean and organized, find things quick, find things easily. I didn't want to have to struggle. And then I got some of these badge holder liners where you can put your student ID in. I also have one for that says nursing student. I would show my badge, but it has my school information, my full name, my student number, things like that. So I'm not comfortable putting that out there for everybody in the world. So maybe later at a different date, I will show that maybe after I graduate. But I have a whole bunch of these that came in a big stack. And I wanna preface this video by saying I bought 99% of everything off of Amazon. The only thing I did not purchase, I believe was like my stethoscope, my iPad and my iPencil, everything else unless the school gave it to me, was from Amazon. And if I can, I will link down below somewhere all the different links for the items that I purchased that I felt, I'll put ones that I felt were absolutely necessary and then ones just for anything that I bought in case that you see something and you think, hey, maybe I will use that more than Brianna did. Go for it, go ahead. And then just some more office supplies. I got these push pins. It's a whole big old container of them. I actually ended up using this for just things around the house too. There's a ton in here. Um, Mainly I got it to hang like a whiteboard. I don't use my whiteboard. And since I moved my desk out of my and my husband's shared office, I haven't really hung anything up in our bedroom. I didn't really use the whiteboard anyways. So these are helpful for around the house. And then the one white whiteboard that I really did use was my clear acrylic whiteboard. It's kind of hard to see since it's clear, but I write my to do's on here. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it says proctored capstone. I have two farm tests that I want to do every day. I've mentioned that before in a previous video. Read my farm book. I haven't really done and study my GI drugs. This was actually for our previous exam. So I need to clean it and I need to restart. So that's why I also bought some Expo spray so I can just keep it clean, keep it moving. Hi Cleo. Again, because I have ADHD, I know I forget things very frequently. So the more lists and calendars that I have, the more I'll stay on, chat, on task. I had some of these badge reels this one I've actually used for work recently. And then I bought this really cute plant one. 
So here is it out of the package. It's really cute. I got it from Etsy. And if I remember, I will link that shop somewhere down below. Technically at my school, you're not allowed to use your own personal badge reels. You're supposed to use the ones from the school. However, I hardly ever see anybody besides myself using the school badge reels. A lot of people have their own personalized badge reels do what you want to do i'm a stickler for following rules i don't want to get in trouble or kicked out for the day for not having my correct uniform so i haven't used these i'll probably use them for work or like when i graduate i have some of the loops for my flashcards that i have shown before in my other video for all my flashcards keep them organized like i mentioned in that previous video i don't typically use my flashcards anymore i tried in the beginning now i use quizlet for the electronic flashcards i'm not bringing five of these everywhere i go so because i don't use these i have this big old stack of flashcards that are just kind of sitting there i think they're cute i like the colors i like that they're big i like that they're hole punched I will also, like I said, I'll link these down below. Maybe somebody does like to handwrite them and use them. I know some people in my class do. Maybe I should have given these to them. Now that we're almost done with the program, I think it might be a little too late to offer them. And then I have these little post-its for my textbooks when I was using the hard textbook before I moved over to the elect electronic the electronic textbook i did like to have these so i can flag important topics and areas that i needed to go over again but since i'm using the ebook i can just add an electronic note highlight that and then find it easier i love my electronic books my ebooks i can pull it up anywhere where i'm on if i'm on the go which i typically am between school work and kids and i feel like looking around this big old heavy textbook these i just don't use it i don't use these too much anymore either but when I was using my textbook, I used the bejeebus out of these things. My book was flag, tag, bag, all that. This is the Complete Nursing or the Comprehensive Nursing Bundle by Nurse in the Making. This I actually do utilize quite a bit. It's hard to use this in my program because my teacher likes to go so by the book word for word out of our textbook than the concept necessarily. This is a really good resource to brush up on the concept and for like exit exams and the NCLEX, absolutely. I don't wanna show through it too much since it's copyrighted, but I will share her Etsy page. Her website is nurseinthemaking.com. You can find her on Etsy, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. She's everywhere. These are great. I've seen some of the other comprehensive nursing bundles and it looks like just handwritten notes that somebody made copies of and sold for $200 and that's just so boring to me. Nothing's gonna retain. This is awesome. This is one of the best ones that I have seen and she has flashcards. I purchased the med surge ones. I haven't used it too much in my class since we're at LVN, we're not super in depth with the concepts. Not that we're superficial either. We're, we know what we're talking about, but RM program is a little bit more in depth. So I will probably be purchasing her pharmacology flashcards as well when I start my RM program this fall. This planner, I got this planner at TJ Maxx. I saw the color and I fell in love immediately. I have not used this at all. I think I opened it once after I purchased it to look at it and then realize I don't want one more thing to carry around. And like I've mentioned a bajillion times now, I use my iCalendar, my Google Cast, and my Reminders app on my iPhone. This, if I wrote it down on this, I'd forget to look, honestly. I need to write up in my face. I need things popping up on my phone, but hey girl, you got this to do. Oh yeah, well, let me do that. But it's super cute and it has little, I don't really like these stickers, but you know, stickers and it has like dream plan five top goals, like motivational things. It's cute. I think I just like the color more than anything. My husband says I have a shopping problem. I am an impulse buyer. This was an impulse purchase aisle, whatever it's called, before you get up to the register, like those last minute buys. And I just really like the color. So I also bought a overhead lamp and I'm actually using it as one of my lighting sources right now. So I'm not going to show it, but I will post it, link it somewhere, something. I love this light, it's adjustable. The neck is adjustable, the color, the tone, the brightness, all that's adjustable. I love this, I use it to study, I use it for my YouTube videos. My husband actually has used it for his like Zoom meetings and stuff before. I got a ring light now that he just bought me when I started this channel. But I like it a lot. It has different modes and things and like reading, writing, low light, high light, stuff like that. So I actually really do like this light and I will post it. So I bought this backpack. And I thought it was adorable. You know how these like diaper bags are like super popular right now. 
it's cute as soon as I saw all the flowers. I have a ton of flower tattoos. I don't know, I just love floral. So when I saw it on Amazon, I was like, oh, I have to buy it. It is super cute. It has this big old wide opening. I don't really know what I even have in here. I think I have like a blood pressure cuff. I think my husband bought me this one. It's going down my shirt. A phone char charger cord in here. It plugs in on the outside so you can charge your devices. It has big old cup holders on the outside. There's two on the inside. There's a flap for your electronics. There's a ton of pockets. This thing is really practical, but it kills my back. It has these very thin straps. And it just, the way that the pressure, the weight is distributed on my back kills me. I couldn't use this. I actually went back to the free backpack. I guess it's technically not free. I had to pay like 40 grand for this program. So it came with all my books and supplies and stuff from my school. And I use that one. The straps are a lot wider, so it's just a lot more comfortable. However, I bought this backpack and was using this backpack when I had the actual physical textbooks. So now that I'm only using my laptop and my iPad, I probably could go back to using this. But at the same time, I feel like it's kind of obnoxious. It's so just like in your face. I have used it a handful of times for school and then we use it as my daughter's little diaper bag when we went to Disneyland. It's very functional. I like it a lot. It has a big pocket in the front. Maybe I'll go back to using it again now that I'm hip with the e-book stuff. So my second backpack that I purchased is actually my clinical backpack. This I bought at a uniform place down the street from my house. This backpack is perfect for clinicals. It's compact enough to where I can put all my stuff in it, but it's not this big heavy looking thing that I'm carrying around with me. And when we go to our clinical sites, we don't really have designated areas to put our belongings. So if we have to stash it somewhere in their conference room, their day room, whatever, I could just find a spot, stash it, and it's out of the way. I don't feel like I'm being obnoxious and I'm taking up a bunch of space, but I have all of my stuff in here. So this is kind of like a what's in my clinical bag video now. So on the outside, I have an empty bottle. It's an empty spray bottle. Got these off of Amazon. My idea was to put like rubbing alcohol in here so that when I'm on a keyboard, a shared keyboard, I can spray it off, wipe it down really quick because I'm not, I'm not picking up anybody else's germs. I just never really got around to filling it up. And then I have a little clip, rock climbing clip on there. So this front pocket, I have a rapid COVID test because we're still in a pandemic. I'm not gonna get into all that, but I want to keep one on me just in case because some clinicals want you every Friday to get a PCR done. Some want you to do a rapid every Monday, whatever. I just wanna stay strapped up. I wanna stay prepared so that I can go to clinicals. I'm not gonna get penalized and I can get my hours. Also in this front pocket, I have my notebook. I'm so happy I got these little tiny notebooks. I think I actually got these from Target. I got the three of them. I've really only utilized one so far. My plan was to have one on me for quick need to know nursing notes, charting notes. So like in the front here, I have inability to clear airway related to ineffective cough, related to excessive secretions. So that when I'm charting, I'm making a care plan. I have these I can reference back to quickly without having to pull my phone out, trying to not pull my phone out as much as possible when you're at clinicals, you should not have it. And then I had signs and symptoms of hypoxia and I'm assessing a patient and I'm noticing some changes in them from their baseline and I'm concerned about it. And especially if you're kind of panicking in that moment, especially if you're a new nurse or you're new in this world, I wanted to have these quick references right here. I had some other things in here like what breath sounds sound like, little pictures on here to help me where whether it's on inspiration or expiration. Babe? But yeah, quick little references in the front. So I wanted to keep this one for my quick nursing notes, have a secondary one where I can pull out and drop down notes for either my patient or just the things I need to know about the facility and so on and so forth. However, I didn't like having two on me. Your pockets get heavy, all that. So I started just using the one. I have my references in the front and I started from the back writing patient information, my head to toe assessments, notes about wound care, meds, things like that in the back. I love this. I keep it in my pocket. It fits in my figs pocket, just right on the side. And then I pull it out and I write down my notes really quickly. So that brings me to my pens. I bought these off of Amazon. Just a little multicolored pen and just stick it in there, stick it in my pocket and we're good to go. It's a little beat up. And then I have a pair of sterile gloves. I was at one facility and we had to do a straight cap on a patient who got it every like Q4, I believe, or Q6 and they didn't have any sterile gloves and that's a whole whole thing so technically it was in the the catheter kit but 
no. If you know how those sterile gloves come out of those kits, you know what I'm talking about. I have my secondhand watch. It's an analog watch, if you can see it. I got this off of Amazon. I don't know if you can see, but it does have the 24 hours because you know, when you are in the medical field, it's always military time. It's never standardized time. So I do use this because I work at the hospital. I know military time really well, but I liked having the watch that had both on there. This is a little cheap thing and I got like a rubbery material because I wipe everything down before I leave clinicals. Even if I'm wearing my eye watch, I will wipe that down, my badge, my shoes, every, every, everything. I just have another pen in here, another multicolor pen. You never have enough pens when you're in nursing. I have my pen light. Then it has, this I got from school. It's not the best quality. It's already kind of melting, but it has the different pupillary sizes on here when you're checking. So these are my absolute, absolute favorite. My friend told me about these. She also wears prescription glasses. I'm wearing my contacts right now. I don't wear them on a daily basis. I got these goggles and they're prescription. And I got them from, the, and they're from Lens Mart. So this is what they look like. They come in different colors and patterns and things. I just got basic black so they would match everything but they're goggles so they have the side protector the over protector and things like that but these are prescription so i can put them on and i can see just fine i didn't need to wear my glasses underneath these are exactly my prescription and they were like 30 bucks i love these i just threw them i love them a lot so my coolant board i was so excited to purchase this and I ended up not really being utilizing it a whole lot. I see nurses at where I work use this, they call it their brain, but I also see them lose it a lot. I've seen some of the really skinny nurses be able to put it in their pant-like pocket, but I'm not a skinny girl, I'm a thick girl. It does not fit in my pocket. If I put it in my shirt pocket, when I bend over, it falls out, and then I have to clean it, it's loud, it startles everybody. You never wanna put this down on a patient's surface anywhere. And this I would wipe down too at the end of the clinical day. So I like that I'm able to do that without ruining it. It does have some helpful nursing information on here. It has like ABGs, different electrolyte levels, pupil sizes, things like that on there. Foldable, open it up. This is what it looks like. It has a little clipboard thing. Put your paper in here. So I don't use this a whole lot. I like the color. So my fanny pack, I hate this thing. It's awkward, it's clunky, it's big, it bumps into everything. Like I said, I'm a thick girl. I got a big, I got a big bottom, I got big hips. This thing, I'm hitting everybody with it all the time. I actually purchased a large fanny pack that we took to Disneyland so I can put all of our things in and I'm actually going to be transferring all of this stuff into that. So like that's more compact, doesn't feel so awkward and big. And plus it's cute. But it has these little clips on here for scissors and things like that. It holds my blood pressure cuff, my stethoscope. I have in this front pocket, I have this little light. I was totally influenced to buy this. I saw it all over Instagram, but it was such a good idea. So I bought it. It's a little light, it clips onto your lapel right here. And it's for when you're going into a patient's room like at night and you don't want to turn on their overhead light and disturb them. You can just pop it on, it's on your lapel over here and you can do whatever you need to without being super disruptive. I've seen nurses use the smaller little lights that clip onto their badges. I have that one, I use that one more. That's really good for catheter placement so you can light up the area. I don't work night shift or anything so I have not needed to use this too much but I actually love this. And if I do ever use night, work night shift, I'll definitely use this. It has different lights and modes on it as well. I don't, know, I don't know, I'm not planning on going to a rave or anything, so I don't really need the flashing strobe light. Don't really want to give anybody a seizure, including myself, so I'm not gonna look at this. I need to hold it down to turn it off. So that's cute, it's cool, I like it a lot. Just haven't really gotten a chance to use it. This is my blood pressure cuff from school. I got it for free, it's big, it's clunky, it's manual. It's, you know, more accurate than the electronic ones, so I do like to use this one on my clinicals, getting blood pressures, it's clean. Then I have some shears. These are really good for cutting off bandages. And my stethoscope, this is a Littman, Littman 3 cardiac, I believe. Not 100% sure, it's this cute purpley color. I believe this was about $140. I like it a lot, it has the big bell, has a little bell for auscultating. And it's really clear, I like it a lot. I do wipe mine down every day at the end of clinicals. I just use like an alcohol wipe or something. No, you're not supposed to, because they can crack the tubing but 
I don't know, I don't plan on using this for my whole career. So if I do need to replace, I don't mind. I'd rather it be clean, but I do like this one a lot. It's comfortable in my ears. I do have it personalized. I'm trying to cover up because it has my last name on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it has my first initial, my last name, and then it has the year. I don't wear it around my neck ever. It's heavy, holes on my neck starts to hurt. And that's also a safety issue because if you have anything around your neck, if you have a confused patient, they can actually choke you out with your stethoscope. It has happened. So please don't keep it around your neck. And it's also an infection control. I have my headphones. I have bought this little Vaseline charger case for them. Super cute. I uh, got the case from Amazon, got the headphones from Costco. No, I didn't get them for school, but I do listen to my Speechify app a lot. And I'll plug these in especially when like lecture is kind of boring, kind of slow or reviewing, whatever. Or if I get to school early and I just want to study, I'll pop these in. So these are really helpful. I got this pencil case from Amazon. It's super cute, a little zipper pouch. And then you can pull it down and it turns into like this little cup and you can rest it like this and get all your pens up. And then I did buy all these pens and stuff as well, all these different colors. When I was handwriting my notes out a lot, I, I went through my highlighters and pens pretty quickly but I don't use this too much. Like I've mentioned a bajillion times, I use uh, good notes and things like that. So I have these pens, this little pouch is super cute. I bought the flashcard organizer for all my flashcards I did not use, which I have some more in here. It's like I started to, I did start, I did try. I, just, I have all kinds of post-its that I did use. I have another notebook in here. Like I said, I was going to try and use like one for one thing, one for another. Didn't happen, so now I have a backup in here. I have some mascara because, you know, that's important. I've shown my binder before. I do use this to keep everything from school, all my paperwork organized, keep my syllabus in the front, my drug cards and things like that in here. Other than that, I probably just could have bought like a really thin skinny binder and put that in my bag. This gets heavy and it hurts my back. I've done my iPad before. I have this case for it so I can just plop it down, put it like this on my desk so it's leaned up a little bit. I use this regularly on my notes. I have like copies of my syllabus on here, but I use this the most for note taking, not necessarily like doing any kind of assignments. And then my Apple Pencil. I've shown all this before in my last video about how I study in school. I bought this Apple Pencil as a first gen for like a hundred bucks off of apple.com. Was it very expensive? And I've, like I mentioned before, my iPad, my husband got when he was upgrading our phone. So I didn't really spend any money for that. The case I got on Amazon, I use this the most. I use this thing religiously. I did not put stickers directly on my laptop. This is a clear case. I would never do that to my Apple products. I just don't like it. So I can just take it off when I'm done and put something else on. This was a 2022 Apple MacBook Air. I think I got like the M1 chip. It doesn't, it's not a lot of storage or anything, but I use this thing the most. It has my eBooks on there, has my notes on there, has, I use Google Docs a lot, my email. Honestly, my laptop and my iPad, my headphones, I use absolutely the most, the most. And one thing I did forget to mention that on my badge, I, I have a little mini Sharpie attached and then I have a highlighter. You always wanna have pens on you. You always wanna have a highlighter. You always wanna have a Sharpie. Sharpies you will use for when you open up a new insulin bottle, a new medication, you're gonna date, time, initial, any kind of lidocaine patch or any kind of wound dressing you put on, you do need a Sharpie. I like having these attached to my badge reel so that they are always on me. I have a different one in a different color highlighter and I just pull it, use it really quick, put it back. Absolutely recommend these. I think my mother-in-law got me a whole pack of these, but she got them off of Amazon. So I highly recommend these. These I absolutely do use. Clinicals, I bought these Crocs. We do have to wear all white shoes at school and at the facilities. These look huge in this video. I like these a lot. They're very comfortable. They're very easy to clean. So I actually don't wear these at the clinical site. My school doesn't want us wearing Crocs there. I do have a pair of white shoes that I bought off of Amazon. These are also from Amazon. I will link those. They're actually really comfortable. I think they're about 40 bucks. I didn't want to get them out of my car, even though I, I do clean them every day after school. I just didn't want to bring them out of my car. It feels gross to me. I don't wear those inside my car. I don't wear them in my house. As soon as I walk out of the facility, I clean them. I spray them with Lysol all over. I just drench them. And then I put them in a plastic grocery bag in the trunk of my car so that they are away. They're not touching anything. And if you're wearing your clinical shoes, 
outside of the facility, in your car, in your home, at the grocery store, whatever, that's disgusting. So I wear these to drive. I wear these for when I'm at school, for theory, but I don't wear them in the actual facility, but they're very comfortable. I just have to wear them in sports mode when I'm at school. Make sure you get a good water jug of some sort. This one I got around Christmas or before Christmas. I know they're super popular right now. I do like the Stanley cups, but mine leaks like a son of a gun. I don't know how people turn this thing and it plugs the hole. Mine just, it pours out. So this is cute and it's the only one that really fits in my cup holder. Uh, I drink a ton of water. So I fill this thing up like 40 times a day. It's a 40 ounce water bottle. So I drink about a gallon a day. I like water a lot. Um, I used to go to the gym a whole lot. That's a whole other thing. But I do have a couple different size, bigger water jugs. My favorite, favorite one I got was from Costco. I think it was called like a Zulu, Z-U-L-U. -U. I'll try to link that somewhere if I remember. That, it's like a half a gallon. It's compact, it's portable, it does not spill. You lock it up. I love that water bottle. I just, I cycle through water bottles a lot. I got this when the hype was huge and I like it, it's all right. I'm gonna drink a ton of water. When you're at clinicals, you need to have water. You'll get exhausted. You're running around, you're starving, you're thirsty, you're dehydrated, and you really can't have anything to drink at your car or at the nurse's station. So if you can run to the back and get some water really quickly, absolutely. And honestly, that's it. All the stuff I bought was cool and great. It makes my life a little bit easier, but I don't really use it. I did buy a charger for my Apple Pencil so I don't have to plug it into like my laptop or anything or my phone because that's the way that the design is super awkward. That is super useful. I do use that every other night to plug it in really quickly. It's a cute little stand thing. I'll show that. Honestly, that's it. You don't need to buy a whole bunch of stuff. I know you want to be cute. You want to be that nurse or whatever. You're excited. I was excited, so I spent all kinds of money, but I really didn't need to. The most I use were the things that I listed, but just because that's what I use doesn't mean that's necessarily what you want to use. Maybe you want to use the flashcards. Maybe you want to use your physical book. So you want those post-its, the clear post-its and all that stuff. More power to you. I'm just showing you the things that I bought and then the things that I actually utilize so that if you can save money through my mistakes, <laughs> I guess, through my, how I learn what not to buy, I guess. I hope this helped. I hope maybe I can help you save some money or give you a direction in which to go to for what you need to buy for nursing school. But let me know if I mentioned something that you use, that you love, that you hated, or maybe that you are somebody that likes eBooks or somebody that likes the physical books. Tell me what's worked for you in nursing school and clinicals. And if you have questions about any of the things that I have mentioned or any of the links I have posted, I don't know why my collar is so popped up like prints over here. Let me know down below in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe to this video. I will be changing up my posting dates a little bit based off the analytics that I got. Looks like you guys are more so on my channel on different days than my when my originally planned Mondays and Fridays. So that will be coming soon. I'm not exactly sure what day I'm going to start posting. It might be Tuesdays and Thursdays. We will see, but let me know if this video was helpful to you or if you have any other ideas of videos that you want me to post. If you have any questions about nursing, school or what it's like to be in nursing school and working and be married and have children it's not the easiest but it's doable we are almost done with nursing school we'll get through it all together guys and make sure to remember that we are all aiming to be a safe and competent nurse to do no harm and i will see you guys later Bye.